After months of construction, Barnstable officials gathered together to dedicate the Enoch Cobb Early Learning Center on the grounds of Hyannis West Elementary School. Construction of the $2.3 million project began in March of this year and was completed in time for the start of this school year. The building will provide a permanent home for the Barnstable School District's inclusive preschool program that serves both special needs students and those without special needs. I think it's appropriate that the Early Learning Center is named for Enoch Cobb. Enoch Cobb was a Barnstable resident who died in 1876, leaving his entire property uh, in trust for the benefit of the children of Barnstable. Under the stewardship of former trustee David Cole and current trustee Steve Heslinga, the trust has grown significantly over the years with the trust income expended on programs and activities that enrich the educational experience of Barnstable students, particularly when appropriated funds are not readily available. We're particularly grateful to Steve for his two-year pledge of $100,000 to acquire furniture and equipment for the Enoch Cobb Early Learning Center. It's a cliche to say it takes a village to raise a child. Here we have a case of it definitely taking seven villages to, um, for the amount of cooperation and collaboration that it took to pull this project together. It was one of Dr. Joukowsky's first projects when she came here. She saw the need and, and talked to the school committee about it. Um, and from there, it moved on to collaboration with the town business department, with the town manager's office, and certainly with the um, members of the town council. We hit some bumps in the road, but uh, worked it out together, and we stand here today um, in unity to uh, be grateful for this building and all that worked on it. Thank you. You know, if this project had a theme song, um, it would be the long and winding road. Discussions at our Monday meetings, the Town administration meets every Monday with the, with the schools as we try to discuss very issues. Uh, Dr. Kajowski brought this uh, issue before us, and she was, and we had discussions like, you're going to build a new school when we just closed four of them? And we had to question ourselves as to, as to why we were spending additional dollars. But we have a capital impact program, we looked at that very carefully. When we make choices about we, what we spend on our capital dollars, it's going to be between municipal programs and school programs. And we felt uh, on the, uh, from the town's perspective that this was a worthwhile uh, project and something that was really needed uh, for these children. So, um, you know, it went from there to a narrow victory, but it was a two-thirds victory at the, at, um, at the town council. And uh, then we did our RFP, as, as, and as we mentioned, the costs came in, and they were, they were very different. And it was at that point that I think Dr. Mary really showed her leadership ability and the ability to, and flexibility with forming a, a committee and trying to have a collaborative uh, effort on this. Committees aren't always a good idea, but in this instance, pulling counselors, school committee members, the facility uh, folks, it was collaboration uh, at its best. And I want to congratulate all who had a part in this, uh, in this uh, success of this project. All of you who made this a reality for our children here in Barnstable. It's just such an honor and a privilege to work with such dedicated staff members, council members, school committee, parents, administration, really to make this come to fruition. And, you know, even though I initiated the discussion, it required all of us to come together to do what's in the best interest of children and to put children first. And we did that. And so as I walk in today and I see this cl these classrooms, the beautiful ways that they have been set up and for so many years our teachers here for the past 21 years have been teaching in inadequate spaces and to have a space where a child is welcome into an environment that they can learn and teachers can teach is really amazing it's incredible and I know for years to come you know our children will be the beneficiaries of this and uh, it's just a privilege and an honor to work with all of you and thank you for all your support. One of the the biggest benefits I see so far is having all of our staff in one location. So having a school building that has almost half um, the population being special education students, it really requires a team effort um, of therapists and teachers and this facility and having everybody in one location really allows us to do the consulting and the collaborating that we really need to do to work with the kids. Um, 
Another thing about this building is just that it was specifically designed for this age group. So everything is accessible to the kids, the toilets, the sinks, um, you know, our playground is not in yet, but when it is shortly in October, you know, everything on the playground will be specifically designed for this age group and for students with special needs. So everything will be really accessible. Um, it is amazing and wonderful to have a permanent home. I can finally unpack every box I have and put out everything I have because I'm pretty sure I'm never going to have to move again. It's this wonderful. is our motor room. So this is where our physical therapists and our occupational therapists do most of their work. Um, they, go, they do go into the classrooms and work with the students in the classrooms, but they also take small groups of kids into our motor room to do work on balance and strength and coordination and really get them using their gross motor skills and their fine motor skills and really practice the areas where they're weakest. So the climbing wall really gives a great opportunity for them to use all of their muscles in order to maneuver across the Some of the, the conveniences that we'll have here, uh, we've rarely been in a building where we've had a bathroom right in the classroom. We've had to shuttle kids down the hallway to use um, a bathroom that even size-wise wasn't adapted to them. So um, as you look around this building, the, the windows are very low to the ground, um, the sinks and the toilets are very low to the ground. Uh, everything was really made with um, students three to five years old in mind. Classrooms in the Enoch Cobb Early Learning Center are also equipped with smart boards specifically designed for preschool age children. I had it on for the children today and we did a little matching game and it's completely interactive. Um, it's just the right height for them. They really, uh, I talked to the person that came from the company Hatch, there's really no way that they can kind of hurt or damage the board. It's very durable. Um, it can be moved around as I need to. So. Uh, it's, it's really probably going to change the way we do a lot of our teachings. So. Upon hearing about the project, the Barnstable Disability Commission wanted to help out. Chair Sheila Mulcahy says donating $35,000 for a fully accessible playground was an easy decision. Our goal and our mission uh, for the Disability Commission for the town of Barnstable is to make the village or the town more accessible and we try to find different ways that we can do that. We had heard about this new school and we were very excited about um, that they were going to be integrating kids with disabilities with kids without disabilities and we realized that they needed a playground space where they could learn to play because we think playing is just as an important learning process is it is the the didactic learning process in the classroom um, so we met with um, several different town officials the superintendent and and um, and, and I like to call him our mayor <laughs> but um, and some council members and we um, and the architect that was designing the playground and we came up with the with the seed money and we donated thirty five thousand um, dollars towards the playground and it was a huge chunk and because of that donation they were then able to look for other grants and other foundations that could help um, complete the, the cost of the playground. We love it because it is designed specifically for children with disabilities and um, it, the architect's dream um, is going to be realized and I think the kids are going to find that this is going to be wonderful. And we've done so many different projects for um, other people with disabilities within the town of Bonstable, but they tend to be more adults. So we found that, that um, working with the kids was a great foundation so to start We're so with. grateful to the town and, and for Dr. Chikowski for uh, putting forward this project um, t and educating people as to the importance of this. Uh, so, you know, as a teacher in this program, so, so grateful.